everyone, Jake here from Netronic. Thank you for joining me today as we take a look at the visual production scheduler built by Netronic, specifically for Microsoft Dynamics Nav Manufacturing Module. Today I'm going to show you a few of the highlights of the visual production scheduler, as well as give you a sense for working within the tool. Firstly, you'll notice as I navigate to the visual production scheduler, just how fully integrated it is with standard nav. You'll see first I navigate to my departmental menus, further to my manufacturing module, through my planning tab, where I can find the visual production scheduler living as a list item. Now it's important to note that today we're going to be providing a visual front end to our planned, firm planned, and released production orders living in our standard nav database. It's also important to note that I'm working on a 2016 database, however the visual production scheduler is available beginning with 2009 R2. Now as I open the visual schedule, you'll notice it's a standard nav page broken down into three parts. Our role center on the left, menu ribbon across the top, and of course our interactive Gantt chart. Now the Gantt chart itself is broken down further into two axes. On the left vertical axis, we have our production order lines, like I said earlier, according to their status, and you can see here that they're color-coded as well. Across my horizontal axis will be my time scale. This is the total amount of time that I've chosen to define to look at in my manufacturing plan. Now if I go in here under setup and administration, you'll see that my time span is defined from the working date in which I first define a starting date and further an ending date. Now you'll notice also that I have some flexibility when moving across the time scale defined. I can move to the left or right. I can also zoom in to get a more granular look at production. and I'm doing this just by the wheel on my mouse. Now I can expand out production orders as well. You'll see here that this production order has five operations moving through its routing. You'll see I see the routing, I see the work and machine centers, as well as the completion date there on the right in that black triangle. Now with an easy double click, I'm taken right into this production order card where I can get a look at the routing that makes up the production order. And this is all standard nav. Super easy, super intuitive, very seamless interfacing when working with standard nav and the visual production scheduler. You'll see I can accomplish the same when I open up a work center card, for example here at the assembly department. Now here I can see I have a capacity defined of three at the assembly department, and this is the same capacity that we're showing here at the bottom of the screen in our load capacity chart. Now as I scroll across these different work and machine centers, you'll see that the load capacities at the bottom of the screen are updating in real time. Again, complete integration in standard nav. Switching now to my second view called our resource view, you'll notice my work and machine centers on the left hand side. And of course I can see on which production orders and which production order operations they're working inside the Gantt chart. Thirdly, I will switch to our, our last and complementary view. This is called our histogram or load capacity view, and it gives you a complete glimpse at capacity usage across production. Now, within all of these views, there are some additional options, such as printing, where you can create a PDF or a printout for a meeting, full configurability, additional time settings, calendar settings, and much more. So I hope you've enjoyed this short introduction to the visual production scheduler. If you're interested in further information, please check out our website at www.netronic.com. Thank you. <laughs>